In this example, we have to find the value of ceiling of this number. In the first expression, we have 0 0.698. So let me remind, when we have brackets like this, we have to find the ceiling of this number. The ceiling of number is the smallest integer that is at least as big as this number. Because this number isn't integer, because we know that integers are the whole numbers, including zero and negative values. So first we can we'll draw number line. This number is between zero and one. We have 0 0.698. Because this number is not integer, so the smallest integer will be 1. So this is my solution. And now, in the second example, we have 3 times ceiling of 2.2 plus ceiling of pi. So for the this example, we will draw again number line. You have to find 2.2, 0, and put this number here. We have 2.2. Because 2.2 is not integer, because integers are the whole numbers, including 0 and negative values. So 2.2 is between 2 and 3. So the Smallest integer for this number will be 3. So we have to copy this 3. We have times 3. We have can put in parentheses. And we have plus ceiling of pi. Pi is equal 3.14 approximately. So this is between 3 and 4 pi will be approximately here because pi is not integer because it's 3.14 and we know that integers are whole numbers including zero and negative values so the smallest integer at least as big as pi is 4 so we have plus 4 so this is equal 3 times 3 is 9 plus 4 is 13. This is my solutions.